Hi, this is Robin Moses, and I'm going to do a pigment and gold flower. To I have these long, beautiful nails that I've painted a shiny gray black, and then I have some um, matte pigment, and I forgot the color. And what I'm doing is pushing that down in like that, and I and I've put the foil glue across the seam of this color. But this, this uh, matte color, I need to get the color for you. This matte color is so dense and so pretty that you really, I don't even know if you would need foil glue. It might go right, on a, right onto the nail. Anyway, I'm going to put the foil going right across the grid that I would put with the glue. And um, I'm going to paint the flowers over the top of that when we come back. And I'll have the name of that color for you. Okay. And let me get back into frame. Okay, we're back. It's the name of the pigment is called Steel Blue AA7. I was wrong. I thought it was green. When it goes over the black, it turns green because of the gold undertones. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this nail and I'm going to paint like the leaf stroke. And all through the nail, I'm going to push, 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 pull, push, push, pull. Push, pull, push, push, pull, and then I'm going to go through and push, push. There, there's no place that I have in mind as to where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm just filling the nail with gold. It's going to be leaves, it's going to be petals and they're all just going to be gold and it's going to be really just a color type of design where you use your, your the strokes of your brush and the colors from the pigments and the paint and they'll all go together and create a wonderful floral design for you so that is what the nail is going to look like and then I'll go to the next nail and I'll do one more nail and then I'll show you what it looks like when there's top coat on it now remember, when you top coat the, the MAC pigments, they're going to crack. I can already tell that this is going to crack a little bit, but just rest it, it. Just rest and let it wait for a few minutes and the cracks will go down. Don't worry about it. It's just a little tiny chemical reaction and it might look a little cracky when it, um, when it dries, but the look will still be beautiful. It's just not going to be as, um, I don't know, like airbrushed looking as when you first put the top coat on it. And I haven't tried it with the gel top coat yet, but I'm going to I'm going to do that on myself this weekend and see how that works, and I'm going to give you feedback. But I can't do that on my clients right now because I am on a time schedule. So, anyways, I'll get back to you. But let me finish this nail, and then I will show you the end result. But watch, I'm going to pull and do like a little, maybe a little scroll here. And a little, like a little branch coming, like a little fleur de lis. And that. that and you can even go back through and with the dot do some dots and now it looks like so brilliant and when I when you look at the pictures on my blog you'll see how much color and vibrancy they have but it's such a simple design idea and it's, it's, it seems simple to execute, but the outcome is so beautiful. So this is what the outcome will look like. And then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, I'm going to show you quickly a step. Where am I? Where am I? All right, you're in film. Okay. Um, I, I have some gold glitter. See, just regular gold glitter. And I'm going to go inside of each of the flowers with a spot of glitter and then maybe just do a dab of glitter here and there to highlight. 
and I want to make sure I get that on film because I know you guys are going to say, well, that looks like it has glitter on it, and it does. So I am just put a little bit of glitter here and there, and then I am going to top coat. Hi, we're back, and this is the finished result. I hope you can see it clearly, and if you cannot, please visit my blog, and I'll have better pictures. I'm going to try to zoom in and show you up close. And I hope you can get a really good picture of what this looks like because it's so pretty in person. Anyway, that's the finished product. I hope you learned a lot. And keep watching my videos and subscribing. Have a great day. Bye.